Hello everyone, welcome to Crafty Kids. Starting today, September 21st, you can pick up a crafty kit to go at the library. And in that kit, we'll have the supplies where you can make a gnome home and a little gnome to go along with it. So today I'm going to show you how to put the kit together to make these things. Okay, so in addition to the supplies in the kit, you're going to need some liquid glue, a pair of scissors, and then supplies to decorate your gnome home. So in the kit, the house looks like this. And you can use, I use permanent markers to decorate mine. So that gives you some nice fine lines. You could also use paint if you have that at home. You could use regular markers. I think permanent markers will give you the best fine details that will give you vibrant colors, but those other supplies are also options. Okay, and then you should have the supplies to make your gnome. So we've got our little body. We have our gnome hat. We have a piece of fuzzy string. And we have our gnome clothes. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue the square of felt around the body to make your gnome clothes. Then we're going to work on the beard. You want to use a decent amount of glue so that it sticks. Okay, now we're going to cut this uh, string into four pieces. So I'm going to cut it in half and then cut them in half again. Okay, now we're going to put some glue around the bottom underneath the nose and we're going to fold our four pieces we cut in half and stick them on to make our beard. And once they're on and dried, you can trim up your beard so that it looks nice. But we're just gonna go ahead and stick all four pieces on there and then let it dry before you trim it because it might fall off if you don't. Okay, so there's our beard. And then the last step is you're just going to take your hat and put a big glob of glue on it and stick it on your gnome's head. Okay, and then let all that dry. And then you can trim your beard up like I did here. Mine comes to a kind of a point. Then you're all finished. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had lots of fun creating your gnome and gnome home. And if you watch this video, if you could leave a comment with the amount of people that uh, watched so we can keep track of our numbers for programming. And we'll see you next time.